Hey y'all, this is Haley and I just wanted to check in this week and tell you what's been going on. So here we go. for me and what I mean with testy is I had to travel I had to maintain my diet maintain my attitude um, try to maintain sleep and just holding myself accountable just being the person that I'm proud of right now it's really hard to do because you make a commitment to yourself and you may even um, tell others about it. So really you're making a commitment to your word to others too. And that's going to be super stressful when you have just life come at you in different directions. Edit that. <laughs> so when life comes at you in different directions and I, and I heard just a really like, bam, <laughs> a quote, it goes purpose will always require inconvenience. Just makes you think, you know, and it's like, dang, like it sure does. So what I really want to talk about is when that inconvenience comes along, when you step into a purpose. So easy example is, hey, I want to give up smoking, I want to lose weight, I want to stop drinking alcohol, I want to make more money, I want to change my career. Well, those are big steps. Those are really hard big steps. When that inconvenience comes, when you have to sacrifice what you really want to do in that moment for what you should do, it's a really it's an easy decision, but it's also very hard because your old habits start to come back. Your old self starts to kind of surface and you have to fight that old self off because you're trying to build a new self. And also when you don't have people around you that support that and really want to help you fight for what you really desire what your goal is, it can really bring you back down and back down and back down again. I know because I experienced that many years ago, not now. My husband is wonderful. My family is wonderful. When I didn't put my best self forward and I let my old self come through with excuses, right? This is the easiest way for me to put it. Excuses as long as you let them, will come in to sabotage whatever you work for, okay? So, for example, if you say, hey, you know, today I'm going to eat good. I'm going to eat what's on my plan. I'm going to go for a walk, okay? Or, hey, I'm not going to have that cigarette today. Or, I'm not going to have that drink today or I'm gonna study today, or I'm gonna research how to start this new career, what I need to do, and then you don't keep that word to yourself, you lose less trust in yourself that you actually do it. So when you find yourself in that moment where you have a choice to suck it up, you don't like it, it's very hard, it's not what you wanna do, ask yourself, why would you not do that? To sleep, to sulk, to have guilt, to be someone someone else wants you to be? Well, why would you do that? Because you're proving to yourself that your word doesn't matter. Because the next time you say to yourself, you're gonna do something, and then you have this doubt inside your head. It's like, no, I probably won't. You know, it doesn't matter. But that's not true. It matters and matters so much. 
Because y'all, when it comes down to it, like this is getting deep, but you got one life. You know, God put you here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. And whatever you're needing to do in this moment, it's your purpose. It's your purpose to do that. And it's going to be hard. But what great thing that someone has went through, they overcame obstacles, they overcame struggle, they overcame adversity. Did they ever come out on the other side and regretted going through that? Because all the pride you have, it, it feels amazing. It's like, man, I did that. And then other people see you do it and they say, hey, it's possible for me. The person you become in the process, the person you become knows that it takes sacrifice to get something great. And if you do that, what else can you do? And I've, I've said this before in another video, but if you do this thing that you think you can't do and you do it, that opens up so many more opportunities for you to take, right? So the life you have is a gift. Spend that life each day believing that you have purpose and you will see that purpose come through, but it's on you. You have to work very hard, but don't wake up, you know, 10 years from now and said, man, like, I should have done something else or I should have done that thing. I just should have done it. And I've had that feeling before of wasting time and it doesn't make you feel too good. And the least thing you want is to feel even more guilty or more depressed for wasting your time here. I just want to tell you that you have to be intentional. You know, you have to write out your plan on a, on a piece of paper right? A piece of paper, you know, I have a calendar, my notes. You have to be intentional. What do you want? What's the next thing you want to see yourself do and accomplish? That's a purpose. And then what can come from that is just, who knows? It'll be amazing though. So make today count. Write out your plan. Write out what you want to do and how you're going to get there. So that is my my wisdom for today, however far that gets you. <laughs> God bless. Make today intentional. Just know that sacrifice is normal. It, it truly is. It is. It's normal to get to where you ultimately desire to be. All right. See you next week. Bye.